It's mailbag time with non copyrighted music. For those of you wondering what on earth is happening with this channel at the moment, <laughs> looks like it's cut into something that, that's not good. Ooh, this looks interesting. How am I out of there? Wow. All right, let's talk about the channel first, shall we? And then we'll come back to this. So a little while ago, I posted a video, uh, which I'll link up here, saying that I was moving house. I haven't. But what has happened in the meantime is that a lot of my stuff has been packed up, particularly when it comes to little fiddly electronics, which I know that I've got. Like this guy, do I have him? Yes. Do I know where he is? No. So that's been awkward to keep up, you know, the one circuit a week that uh, has been characterised the last four years of this channel. Uh, so you'll notice that the number of videos has dropped off. One thing which I haven't done for a while is the old um, uh, mailbag videos, and I really need to because I've got a ton of packets which have arrived while I've been doing the old house packing up and house searching and all that sort of stuff that's going on. So uh, in brief, we're still in the um, the old place. Nothing has changed in that regard. So this process is ongoing. I guess from the point of view of you know packing up, uh, cleaning up, advertising, selling, uh, buying, uh, unpacking, uh, and then finding stuff again, that whole process might normally be three months. It's already been three months and we're still back here. So that's the problem. Uh, so what I'm going to do is probably do, you know, two or three boring, uh, well, I find them boring. I think other people um, uh, really enjoy them, uh, mailbag videos. Uh, and in fact, <laughs> as a consumer, I really enjoy the mailbag videos as well. So I'll do a few of those and um, starting with this guy here. And then uh, we'll just see how it goes in regard to the rest of the uh, the rest of the year. I am working on some ESP32 uh, stuff, so I've already done a video on that. So I'll, I'll post that one up. And um, there's been some developments on that front. And I'm working with ChatGPT to uh, to finalise that code. It'll be pretty cool when it drops. Uh, hopefully in the next week or two. In the meantime, if you see a few mailbag videos in a row, don't panic. Um, that's what I'm doing. I'm getting through a bit of a backlog. Uh, this one here caught my eye. So standard USB on this side, but uh, we've got a mini USB and we've got the, uh, what's it called, the FireWire, the iOS one, and the USB-C, all the ones that we use here, basically. And when we're normally hunting around for cables, what we'd really like to do is make it very simple. Have one identifiable cable. Oops, just lost some... Uh, Vision there, sorry about that. Yeah, I was about to say um, that these guys swivel and so you can put a few devices on. There's a fair length of cable there, probably 15 centimetres or so, um, so you can separate your devices. Uh, so you might have a uh, an iPad on this one, an older style phone on uh, on this one, and a newer style phone. On it. Whatever it happens to be, uh, trying to consolidate the cables is, uh, is what this is all about, so that's a good thing. All righty. And hmm. right -o. relay modules. Yes, some very good relay modules. Uh, pretty stock standard, pretty cheap. Let's open one up and have a look. And uh, you can't have too many of these, to be honest. I'm actually looking maybe to start getting. Oh, let's zoom in and have a look at that. Hmm. I thought I would have ordered 3 point or 3 volt versions. This says 5. I'll have to check that order. The, I guess the IoT devices that I'm using, the ESP32s and the 8266s, normally put a high signal out of 3.3 .3 volts. So it most likely will switch this. But there are also 3 volt versions of relays. And I'm surprised that I would have ordered the 5 volt. Should be okay. There's a little switch here, a little jumper to indicate whether you want it to be, I guess, normally open or normally closed. So it says L and H, and then you've just got your connections on one side and the other for switching that relay. Yeah, pretty nice. And uh, you can see here that it switches up to 30 volts DC, and it switches also up to 250 volts AC. It does say there is a 10 amp and a 12 amp rating there. Probably wouldn't trust any of those, and I certainly won't be using it to those ratings anyway.
but that those little relay modules are pretty ubiquitous and pretty handy. All right. All sorts of things going on in the background. Kookaburras, water pump, it never stops. And this one is voice control night light lamp command. <laughs> oh boy, late night shopping. What on earth? So USB, um, I think the only way to figure this one out is to plug it in. Let's do it. We have power, we have the USB, and we get a light. Okay. Uh, turn on the light, it says on the back. Switch off the light. Whoa. <laughs> what? Turn on the light. Switch off the light. Change the color. I guess it has to be on for that. Turn on the light. Change the color. Change the color. Change the color. Change the color. <laughs> That's a bit of fun. Dim the light. 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 Turn off the light. Switch off the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Oh, this is very cool. Music mode. Da, 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 oh, yes, and that's lovely as well. Colourful mode. Here you go. It just does its own thing. This is a very cool piece of kit. Okay, so I was a little bit sceptical. That is very good. Switch off the light. Yep, I'm for this guy. Top notch. This has um, got a bit of bulk about it. Let's see what we've got. Well packed. That's nice. Oh. It's a bit of... Uh, Power of destruction. Oh, look at that. I cut in exactly the wrong place. And we have relays. Yes, more relays. So um, we've seen the single version, the double version, three, and this is four relays in a row. Let's have a look and see what we've got. I'll get in a little closer. So four relays all of them three volts so built for iot devices your esp 8266s and your esp 32s four lights presumably to indicate when the relays are on probably a power light some bits and pieces along here uh, there's definitely a transistor here i don't see the normal mm, opto isolator that you would expect so yeah i'm just wondering what would happen if you did have something kick back, usually the opto isolator helps uh, stop any niceness coming back to your controlling microcontroller. Uh, and what we've got here is your four channel in, your VCC, and your ground. Um, I think I'd like to hook this up and listen to it. Click, let's do that. Right, so I have a, well, 12 volt rail, it's 11.5, close enough, coming in, that's powering the relay uh, bank here, should be enough to trigger those uh, switches, uh, but the actual trigger itself is coming in from two 1.5 volt batteries, and that should be fine for the three volts that this is expecting, uh, so let's have a look at that, if we just trigger this one at a time, we should see a light, and we should hear a click, nice, that's number one. Two, three, very satisfying, and yes, yeah, I think these will come in handy. Uh, four relays, probably a single microcontroller, probably an IoT device, which means, um, yeah, three volts coming out uh, of the GPIOs, pretty good. All right, oh, this is quite a big package. Time to change that blade. Oh, oh yes. So, hmm. 
Yeah, a couple of interesting ones here. Um, first one is uh, like an Arduino kit. And I wanted that to show some peeps at, uh, at work, which is a, a high school, about how cheap and easy it is to get people up and running in electronics. So uh, there's a course that might be running next year, which has got an electronics component. And they're wondering, you know, what do we need in terms of equipment for this? I mean, these sorts of kits, they, they go from a very cheap, uh, wrapped up in plastic version to this one, which is in a box. And I find this is good for the uh, school kids because they can take everything out and then count it back in again. Uh, it's also got a lovely variety. So you've obviously got your Arduino. You've got a few sensors. So this one's an IR sensor in there. Uh, there's a temperature sensor. That's probably a DH, I think, T11 in there. There's some connectors. Uh, obviously, the USB cable to the... Oh, that's an old style the Arduino but that's fine uh, there's one of those uh, old water sensors uh, which tend to corrode after a few months um, what is that one uh, that's a microphone and uh, you got a sensitivity uh, adjustment in there as well we've got a moisture sensor so rain sensor if you like breadboard some LEDs uh, potentiometer uh, a couple of buzzers, probably an active and a passive. There's a one-digit uh, seven-segment display. All sorts of lovely things. And in the second... Oh, actually, what I'll do is I'll pack up this one. And here we go on the second package. Uh, really hard to get all that stuff back in there. <laughs> That's pretty typical. Uh, same old-style connector. And then we've got... Ah, okay. That's unexpected. Did I order two Arduinos? I don't know that I did. Well, interesting that the... Oh, I'm going to pull this out again. Interesting that the old one... This one in here, does that have... Oh, no, they're both of the same style. So I'm not sure why I would have ordered two if they just put two in by mistake. Pretty good mistake. Um, but, yeah, that is uh, just a straight Arduino Uno knockoff, the clone style, and the old cable to match. Uh, yeah, but anyway, the whole idea is to show that we can start an electronics course very little investment required, and that's what you need. Dramatic re-entry. Still smoking. Oh, it's a bit warm too. Okay, could have been a little overzealous then. It's really hard to cut looking through the camera. So expect one of my fingers to go flying at some stage. But anyway, we are here. With lots of wrapping. Nice. Repurposed, of course, not thrown away. Aha! Solar panels. Yeah, very good. Always uh, using these at a fairly rapid rate, making the candle project. I'll link up the candle project here, and these are just replacements. 160 milliamp, I think around the 50 by 50 mark, so it fits nicely on the top of a jar. Let's see if I've got one. Yes, I do. Just this over here. So this one I'm working on is using a super capacitor and then you've got all the electronics on this side and there's the um you can see that's the same one there's a the solar panel sitting on top just held together with tape it because i'm still prototyping this one hmm. but yeah more solar panels very very good thing that is the mailbag for the week and uh, we'll catch you next time see ya